Matt Miguez has plenty on his mind, and he's ready to share it with the world. It's time to hear the Miguez Mindset. Welcome into the Miguez Mindset here on ESPN 137 Lafayette and 1041 Lake Charles. It is brought to you each and every week by Marucci Clubhouse of Lafayette. Uh, if you want to swing like the pros and you want to look like the pros, head to Marucci Clubhouse of Lafayette on Pinhook next to Surge Entertainment for all the best gear from Marucci, Victus, Bomb, and so much more. Uh, great guys over there. Uh, go see my guys Logan and Dylan, and they will uh, they will hook you up at Marucci Clubhouse of Lafayette. We got a lot to get to this week. Um, bear with me. A little under the weather. A little summer cold action happening here in June. Uh, but look, you know, we'll start with the Travelers Championship, the PGA Tour. Uh, Colin Morikawa having a strong start to the day. He's six under through twelve. He's at ten under for the tournament, and he is in second um, at TPC. River Highlands. Your leader currently is Tom Kim at 13 under par with a five under first round. Um, looking down the leaderboard a little bit more, Tony Finau seven under, Patrick Cantlay seven under, Xander Shuffley seven under. Louisiana native Sam Burns is five under at the end of the second round. He's finished his day with a two under score. Uh, Will Zalator is four under, former McNeese golfer Robert McIntyre. He's four under for the tournament, four under for the day through seven holes and we'll keep you updated throughout the weekend on the travelers championship. But the big story that I wanted to get to today is Louisiana head softball coach, Jerry Clasco taking the same job at Texas tech. Um, you know, there's been a lot of buzz from the Cajuns fan base, uh, about this. Um, obviously it's disappointing anytime you lose a coach, especially one that's been around for seven years and won you 300 games in those seven years. Uh, but at the end of the day, this move came down to money. Um, look, whether people want to admit it or not, Texas Tech has more NIL money than UL. It's just point blank. Uh, there's oil money in Texas. There's all, there's money everywhere in the state of Texas. And you, you see it with Texas and you see it with Texas A&M. You've seen it with Texas State recently. And Texas Tech's going to be no different. Um, so the money made a lot more sense. I know his salary is not a whole lot different, to be fair, softball coaches nationally, unless you're Patty Gasso or Beth Torina or one of those big name softball coach. You don't make a whole lot of money anyway um, in terms of coaching, of course. Uh, but look, again, you, you can't blame a guy like Jerry Glasgow wanting to go build a bigger program. Texas Tech has struggled over the last couple of seasons. Uh, they did finish near the bottom of the Big 12 last year. But it's a Big 12 now without Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, so you have Oklahoma State, you have Baylor, and then really it's everybody else after that. Uh, so Jerry Glasgow can build Texas Tech into a competitive Big 12 program, and that makes a lot of sense. Um, now what this does for the Cajuns is it opens the transfer portal for their players for 30 days. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting little caveat. Do players go to Lubbock with him? Are there players that look to go to maybe some other programs? How does that all play out? We're going to have to keep a very close eye on that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, LSU baseball continues to get some big transfers. Most recently, Dayton transfer catcher Eddie Yaman, the fourth, uh, hit 342 with 68 hits, 13 homers, and 54 runs batted in last season. Um, really talented catcher. Uh, from a, a solid program over at Dayton, and that's going to be a big get for Jay Johnson and company. Also, the Boston Celtics captured their NBA record 18th title the other night, beating the Boston, beating the Dallas Mavericks four games to one. Uh, Jason Tatum finally becomes an NBA champion at the age of 26. Al Horford, in his 17th NBA season, can call himself an NBA champion. Crazy to think that a head coach in the NBA is 35 years old and winning NBA titles, but congrats to Joe Mazzula, an absolute basketball mind. Uh, as we continue this kind of update of, of things that have happened recently, Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame induction is this weekend. Simone Augustus, Drew Brees, the big headline names are getting inducted into the Hall of Fame this weekend, but plenty of local ties as well. Um, Daniel Cormier, the UFC legend, is getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. Bobby Ardaway, a longtime sports writer in St. Landry Parish, getting inducted. Uh, our good friend Mad Dog Ron Higgins is getting inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. 
Uh, so a really great weekend happening in Natchitoches at the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame induction. Uh, you can head to ESPNSouthwestLouisiana.com to read profiles on each of the inductees in the class of 2024. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to get to is the pettiness of college football. Uh, yesterday, Boot Crew Media posted a, a graphic talking about the cheapest beers in college football, saying that Tulane had, in fact, the cheapest beers, when in actuality, it is the University of Louisiana uh, with their $2 Natty Lights. Uh, so they made fun of Tulane, took the same graphic style, uh, and said that they were the actual cheapest beers in college football. Uh, and Pete Thamel from ESPN uh, made, a, made a little joke out of that and uh, retweeted it on social media, uh, saying that the pettiness in college football should live on forever, and I do not disagree with him. I think it is absolutely fantastic, especially when you're poking fun at an in-state school. Again, quick episode this week. Just kind of wanted to recap everything going on here in our world. We've got some great new lineup changes coming here at ESPN Southwest Louisiana, so stay tuned for that next week. Um, Plenty of fun things happening here at Southwest Louisiana Sports Station. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well so you don't miss any of it at ESPN Southwest Louisiana. Follow us on social media at ESPN underscore SWLA. We're back next week. We'll talk Euros. We'll talk Copa America. And we'll talk more with the Cajuns, Tigers, Saints, and more here on the Miguel's Mindset. Brought to you by Marucci Hitters House of Lafayette on ESPN 137 Lafayette. And we'll one, we'll